now we will talk on the pharmacokinetics what is the pharmacokinetics here just remember these few point, few points when while writing for your exams they are given through oral route in emergency you can give them through iv infusion food reduces the absorption of this ace inhibitors so give, it is best to give before food okay next thing they are going to poorly cross the blood brain barrier no so that is why we cannot see any cns side effects in this case these uh, drugs are metabolized in liver and excreted in uh, urine action lasts for 6 to 12 hours this is the pharmacokinetics next we will talk about the therapeutic uses on the ac inhibitor way they are used first and foremost they are used as the first line anti hypertensive drug in case of hypertension they are used in congestive heart failure they are used in myocardial infarction they are used in diabetic nephropathy and also in case of scleroderma crisis so in case of hypertension why they are used they because they are the first line anti hypertensive drugs they do not cause the partial hypotension and also they do not induce any electrolyte disturbances cns side effects that is why ac inhibitors are preferred in case of prevention of hypertension next thing is they are used in congestive heart failure because uh, these ac inhibitors they are going to reduce the blood volume and reduce the reduce what they reduce the peripheral vascular resistance is reduced thereby the preload and after load on the heart is reduced improve all the hemodynamic parameters on the heart long term benefits of ac inhibitors are reversal of ventricular hypertrophy and cardi cardiac remodeling next they are used in mi ac inhibitor should be admi administered within 24 hours of the attack to reduce long term mortality they are also used in diabetic nephropathy because of prolonged in ac inhibitor therapy has found has been found to prevent the or prevent the end stage renal disease in case of type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus and in case of scleroderma crisis also these ac inhibitors are used next thing is i have to mention about the adverse effects what are the adverse effects and how to remember the adverse effect there are actually a short trick to remember the adverse effects you can remember it by the drug name captopril where the captopril stands for the c stands for cuff the ac inhibitors induce cuff okay because of in increased bradykinin levels in the body this induces cuff second adverse effect is angioedema swelling in the nose lips throats we can see here third is proteinuria captopril p stands for proteinuria it is a rare side effect of this ac inhibitor but the important side effect of this ac inhibitor are teratogenic effect fetal growth retardation occurs fetal hypotension may occur that is why they should not be given in pregnancy next captopril o stand for hypotension may occur following the first dose of ac inhibitor if you are giving the patient first time this ac inhibitor it will it may lead to hypotension that too it is more prominent in case of congestive heart failure next side effect is pneumonia neutropenia reduced neutrophil counts it is a rare condition rashes we can see that too ut urticaria we can see the next thing is the captopril i stands for itching and l l stands for loss of taste that is also called as dyskinesia all these are the side effects cough angioedema teratogenic effect hypotension that too following the first dose of ac inhibitor neutropenia rashes and urticaria and itching and loss of taste these are the side effects along with this headache dizziness bowel upset hypokalemia occur if taken along with potassium sparing diuretics next last thing is the contraindication where these ac inhibitors are contraindicated as i have told you they pro they produce teratogenic effect they are pre they are not indicated in pregnancy in case of patients with bilateral and renal artery stenosis this ac inhibitors are contraindicated next thing is the drug in interaction 
when you give the ac inhibitors along with potassium sparing diuretics what happens there is a serious side effect of hyperkalemia okay next when ac inhibitors are interacted with lithium okay lithium toxicity occurs why because lithium elimination will not occur when given along with ac inhibitors next drug interaction is along with nacids when you give the ac inhibitors along with nacids sodium and water retention occurs what what is the net result if the sodium and water retention is occurring the anti hypertensive effect of this ac inhibitors is decreased right the anti hypertensive effect is decreased why what is the main effect of this ac inhibitor they are preventing the rise in the blood volume thereby but here what happens if you are giving along with nacid is sodium and water retention is actually occurring next drug interaction is ac inhibitors when given along with thiazid or diuretics increased in the anti hypertensive effect of the ac inhibitors they actually promote the anti hypertensive effect so this is all about the ac inhibitors and the drugs which are uh, the pharmacological actions therapeutic uses of the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors so this completes our video on this uh, this completes our video i hope this video may be useful for you thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel if you find this video useful